is Alim from Javelin. In this video, I will demonstrate a lesser known use for the edge flange command in solid or sheet metal. Most people are using it just to um, create similar edge flanges on uh, multiple edges, using most of the time just the blind uh, option. So let's say this is going to be half an inch. Of course, you can specify the flange position, and this is done. But what if I, I need to create um, flanges that are similar in shape, but they're not going to be as simple as that? Let's start again the edge flange. And let's say on I'm going to use this edge and this edge. But this time, instead of using the blind option, I want to actually customize the profile of these flanges. Uh, remembering that I still want them to, uh, to be governed by as few dimensions as possible. So edge flange 1, let me edit the flange profile, so I'm selecting the first edge. And right now I'm in sketch mode. Uh, for the time being just ignore this pop-up and concentrate on the sketch. I'm gonna delete these lines because the next thing I want to do is to add two arcs tangent to this line that are just gonna terminate right here at the end. Oops, sorry, make sure you, you f go the other way around. Uh, the other thing I would like to specify is that this point is gonna be coincident to this and also that the two arcs are having the same radius, so I made them equal. And one more dimension from here to the inside of, of this one, of the edge, I'm going 3 quarters of an inch. If you hit finish right now, you, you go back in the part and my flange is going to look like this one for the first edge and like that for the second edge. This is not what I want, so I'm going to go back. This gives me the option to edit the second edge flange profile. So I'm just going to hit on the profile. And notice one thing though, uh, I'm losing the first sketch. I mean, I don't have the visibility of the first sketch that would allow me to add relations between the second sketch and the first sketch. Even if I'm going through the tree, uh, I at this time I haven't yet created the next edge flange, so that's not available. So let's do as much work as possible at this time. I'm just going to go and uh, delete these lines. And let's make this a little bit smaller. Add again the tangent arcs. Of course, you can do this in multiple ways. You can mirror uh, these uh, these arcs to the other side if you want to. And uh, let's specify again that this point sits on this line. So I'm going to have a coincident relation there. The fact that the two arcs are equal to each other. But this dimension, I'm not going to specify it yet because I want to be equal to the other one. So th this time, since I cannot refer the first sketch, I'm just going to finish the command. So what do I need to do now? Let's try to edit the flange, edge flange one more time and see if I'm editing this profile now, if I have a way to actually uh, refer this um, arc to the other one. So maybe tell both of them to be equal. And as you can see now it works because this has been already created. The other thing I could have done was pretty much editing the sketch on its own. I can go and edit the sketch and that will give you access to any sketch that has been created before. So the trick here is to actually define the shape that you want on the first edge of your edge flange. And that will allow you for the, uh, the sketches of the other edges to uh, to follow this. Thank you.